Hey, Mom. Where are you? Wait, what? So you're not coming? But I'm already here. I know, but Mom, don't we owe it to Grandpa to... Yeah, I know. It's just... What? You can't sell the clock? Grandpa's had that for years. Okay, okay, whatever. It's fine. I can just start clearing out my boxes and then... I don't know. We can come back tomorrow and do the rest? Yeah. Bye. I'm really going to miss you, Grandpa. All right. Let's do this. It's Grandpa. I wonder where this is. And this must be from Grandma and Grandpa's wedding. Aw, it's a picture of us. Grandpa, you sweet old bastard. Oh, Grandpa's old travel diary. Seems like a few pages are missing. I should see if I can find the missing pages before moving this. I'm only here to pick up my stuff. I'm only here to pick up my stuff. But well, maybe I'll grab this later. Yeah. Enough of that. Oh man, my old A station. I spent hours playing games on this thing. Hello, this is Howard James Wright with a message for my granddaughter, Sarah Elizabeth Wright. So if anyone else is listening, they can start off immediately, please. <laughs> <clears throat> Sarah. If you are listening to this, then it means... Well, it means I'm gone. But I don't want you to be too sad about it. That's just the way life goes sometimes. So, chin up, my little pixie. Remember our grand moments. All the adventures we had when you were a little one and I wasn't such a cranky old man. I... Uh, I know you have questions for me. It's true I kept secrets from you and your mother, but there were good reasons. There are things in this world greater than ourselves, and I needed to protect you from them. I didn't want either of you to face the dangers that I've had to... I never wanted to place such a burden on your shoulders, but now it, it's unavoidable. Pixie, I need your help, but I can't just tell you. I have to show you. You will need to see for yourself. This world is full of secrets. From the tallest tree to the deepest river, in every breath of wind and every dancing flame, all you have to do is look. Goodbye, Sarah. I love you very much. Goodbye, Grandpa. Does this globe have anything to do with Grandpa's message? seem to be it. Ah, 
shoot. Is this the second part of my necklace? My grandfather's grandfather clock. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a... It's locked. It needs a key to open. must fit elsewhere. fairly old and has a combination lock on it an open desk drawer what could the combination be love the British countryside. Aren't these triangles in the journal pages?
This button seems to control what clock hand can be moved. This button seems to select clock hands. Okay, so I need to set these hands correctly. Maybe the answer is in Grandpa's journal pages. It won't budge. It won't budge. That was the first time I traveled by magic, pulling at the thread that would unravel my grandfather's mysteries. I so wish he told me sooner, so we could have gone on at least one adventure together. Instead, I went on his adventure, the one that never was. But that is a longer story for another time.